We're down here post game with an exhausted coach Wade Morrill. Coach, you told me you, you don't make it easy. Wow, what a comeback! I mean, it, you, you were you were floating in the water there, and West came back, scored nine straight points there to get you back within two when it looked like it could get away from you in the first half. Talk about that first. I mean, Josh is a competitor. You know, I don't. I'm so proud of our seniors. We've talked all year long about not giving up. All year long, we use Jim Valvano as our inspiration. We talked about Jimmy V all year. You know, about don't ever give up, don't ever give up. Just move on to the next play, move on to the next play. And, uh, you know, we struggled in the first half against their diamond and won. They had a great game plan. We knew we were going to see that. You know, we knew sometime in turn we were going to see that. And uh, we didn't execute very well against in the first half. But then we were able, Carrington was able to get to the middle and set Josh up. And Josh's offensive rebounding was fantastic. Talk about a kid stepping up and making big plays. And, uh, you know, the last six games of the regular season, something's clipped in Josh, and you can just tell that he's not letting this year go without a fight. You know, and that's what you want from your seniors, that leadership. You know, Josh and Carrington and Seth Malloy have been fantastic captains. They don't give up. But that Hyde team, I tell you, we've had three games this year, one of them in double overtime, a nail-biter at our place by six, and this one, I mean, they are the most athletic team. They're quicker than us. They're bigger than us. We had to really dig deep and, and work hard to pull that one out. But free throw shooting is big, you know. What kind of comfort does it give you as a coach when you look up 5.1 seconds left and what could be a season-ending situation right there and you got number 21 on the line? Uh, I tell you what, there's not many players like Carrington Miller around. He's an exceptional young man. Uh, his free throw shooting in the beginning of the year, it's funny, we lost a scrimmage this year with him at the line shooting free throws. Um, against Monmouth, he had a chance to step up and make some game-winning free throws, and uh, he missed. And that's not Carrington. Like, Miller's made more big shots in his high school career, game winners, game tires, overtime type games, pressure free throws, and I think anyone has a valley in a long time. And I tell you, when he's going to free throw line in that situation, I, I wouldn't get called a guarantee, but I put money in the bank that he, he's going he's gonna to make it work for us. So, you know, we, we uh, our boys, you got the competitors. They're not going to give up. Playing for Valley means a lot. You know, we have a lot of pride in our basketball. We have a lot of pride in our, in our community. And uh, to, I couldn't, speaking of pride, I couldn't be more proud of the way our kids fought hard today. I mean, it wasn't pretty, but we found a way. And that's sometimes what the good teams have to do. And moving on, Coach, we'll be right here following you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach.